guys and happy Friday to you and happy Saturday to those in South Korea and it's actually March there too. Um, so I finally have time to do something and I'm going to do a music video reaction to Girls Generation, Mr. Mr. I'm so excited. This is my first song, uh, actually my first Korean song uh, released as a fan. So this is really, really cool for me and I'm really excited. I've listened to the song numerous times, so I know the song, but I haven't seen the video. So I'm gonna check it out, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, let's, uh, let's just do this. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to try to analyze this as best as I can. I'm not going to touch on everything. I just want to um, go over some key things that I've noticed. I'm going to let you know, though, that 
Girls' Generation is my favorite K-pop group, so I am very biased towards anything that they release. I don't have uh, very much to say negatively about anything they've released, so it's just my opinion, so if you don't like it, I apologize. First thing I notice is the transition from the uh, pre-chorus into the chorus in the video. Um, and I want to say right now that the chorus is one of my absolute favorite from Girls' Generation in recent times, at least for me. Maybe it's the way the song is structured, uh, you know, with the lyrics. I just think it sounds really, really tight, and the harmonies are really, really good. It's a very catchy chorus, and I just think it works on so many levels. Um, and I think in the video, when they actually go into the chorus, I like the transition from the like doctor into the garage and uh, let's just check this out really quick <laughs> So, yeah, um, I think it's a really cool chorus, and in the music video, I really like the slight offset, transparent camera work. You have the main camera going, and then I'm noticing there's a slight offset, and it's very transparent, but you can kind of see, like, another, like, film there, and I think it's just a cool effect, and they kind of shook the camera a bit, too, to make it more of, like, a big, powerful, um chorus I guess and I just really liked that overall feel and I think this was filmed really well too it's a little more unique it's a little not girls generation I guess in a sense the way they're going from between the the actual choreography from the actual video um, it's a little different and but I actually really like it and I also really like that I paused right on Tiffany yeah <laughs> okay so let's see what else we got I almost feel like you can tell that they've matured, just in their whole sound. I, you can tell that they're an accomplished group, as in they have been around for a while now, six years, and you can tell that they're, they're a veteran group. They sound like they're fully developed, they have a tight sound, tight singers, Jessica and Tiffany sing in there, they're one of the, they're both really great singers. I just feel like this is a, this is a good time for them. One of the things I actually noticed was Sahyun actually doesn't have as many lines as she normally has in songs, which is kind of surprising because she's one of the more, I would say, higher range singers in the group, but for some reason she's a little omitted as usual. And I really like Sunny's parts in the beginning of the pre-chorus because they're actually letting her sing. Normally, like, recently they've had her do like the uh, cutesy agio thing, which is, I mean, I'm fine with that because I like Sunny a lot but she actually has a really good singing voice and that's it's more apparent in the earlier girls generation songs like in girls generation into the new world she's actually she actually has a really good voice and like a, it's a really mellow uh, darker tone and i think it blends in well with girls generation sound but like recently they've been having her sing the cutesy stuff which i she can do really well i just feel like they should let her sing more cuz she does a really good job singing I'm going to say really quick also, I like the transition into the second chorus in terms of the costume change, the, uh, just the whole theme of it. It, sound, it just got way cooler, yeah. I mean, it looks like they all look almost boyish because their hairs are up, like in buns, I'm assuming, so you can't, you can't tell that they have, a lot of them have long hair. But this is just a really cool concept for them. I like the snazzy, like kind of like 20s look. I think it works really well for them. They all look really good. Uh, let's see, standouts. Tiffany. <laughs> T 
Tan. Sunny looks really, really good. And Yuri. I, I, all of them. All of them look really great. I'm just going to say that. Okay, so I'm going to really quickly... I'm just going to... So I want to I wanna talk about the dance breakdown in the song. It's a really, really cool dance. Yeah, um, we're going to watch it again. And I just want to I just want to absorb it again because I've only watched it just the once. So I want to watch it really quick. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Kill leading it all, of course. The transitions are really good. I like the black and white with the like the solo pink. Key change. saw that. She did a wink. She didn't think I'd notice, but she did. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say my overall impression of the song is, in general, I really like the song. Um, I, the chorus is obviously one of my favorite parts of any choruses from Girls' Generation. The song as a whole it is very... I, li I like it. I think it... I get pumped up when I hear it. It's not my favorite Girls' Generation track, but I think it's a step in the right direction. I've listened to the rest of the mini album, and I like the sound that they are producing right now. And I think that it fits really well into what they're, you know, going towards. I hope that they continue this theme throughout the rest of maybe another Korean album, like a full album. I mean, we got this little teaser going right here with the uh, mini album, but I'd like to see a full Korean release maybe sometime in the summer. That'd be awesome. So anyway, I would say my full opinion is Check it out, listen to it, absorb it, you know, just, I, I love Girls' Generation, and it's just, I'm so happy to see that they're actually back doing Korean stuff, because as long as I've been an actual fan, which has only been a year, I actually celebrated my uh, one year listening to K-pop last week, I didn't get any time to film any videos, unfortunately, because I because of school, as a fan of Girls' Generation, I've dealt with just Japanese releases over the last year, which is definitely fine by me because any Girls' Generation is good Girls' Generation for me to have, and this is the fact that it's back in Korean makes me really happy. So thank you guys, thanks for checking out the video. Um, like I said, I have been, I celebrated my one year uh, anniversary with K-pop last week, and I didn't have any time to film anything because of school, but I'd say this upcoming week, I want to make it up to you guys. I want to make it up to myself because I haven't done anything for this for this channel in almost two months. I want to do an updated bias list because that has changed considerably since my last bias list. I want to do my top uh, songs of last year. I know it's going to be three months into the new year, but better late than never, right? And I also want to give you my top albums of last year, and I really, really want to do this so you guys can see what I've, you know, been listening to, what I like over the last year. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Um, you can see MRJ's video. It's going to be somewhere floating around here, I'm assuming. And uh, you get both of our opinions on this uh, release from my favorite Korean uh, pop group and one of his top K-pop groups. So thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later. Bye.